And here we go, a big match coming up. Now let's see. Oh, I'm trying to face this here. I guess I'm stopped. Mm -hmm. And as you can see here, Carrie is the first ban from the side here of F3 Ryzen. And I feel like for Gay here, they should ban out the Claude potentially. Okay, so now I get it. Team Ryzen wants to pick Bruno, if I'm not wrong. Let's see. If actually they're very predictable, they will go with Farsha, then they will go with Bruno, if you will ask me. Nah, it's gonna be definitely a Claude ban here, but it seems like it's gonna be Atlas. Uh huh. As we were talking about this, Atlas is very predictable, and you can actually counter him. But still, both the teams don't want to give Atlas to each other. Mm hmm. But here we are. Claude is banned out by F3 Ryzen. Mm hmm. And the second ban coming up from the side of Team Gaze. Uh -huh. I no feel band? like it should be uh, not that one, obviously, but maybe, just maybe they have an idea. On yeah. Actually, Prince, you're cutting off a little bit. Really? No, no, he's fine. I think it's your network. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. So, the first pick coming up from the side of the Horizon Geo is going to be. But there, it is a very, very safe and standard pick. I mean, for Gay here, they might go for a Nana Selena, Valerie Selena, Kufra Selena. A lot of options available. They can even go double fighters if they want to. Jawhead, Selena. Actually, Mr. Void here, he was global one Selena. And I guess, oh, Valerie and Nana. Hmm. Not exactly what I'm thinking of. See, Prince, uh, that's what I told you. <laughs> they will be going with Bruno and Farsha. Farsha will be here very soon. Just wait for it. I Hello? see, I see. Uh, can I you guys introduce? Like, no? Introduce who? The players? No, 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 yourself. Uh, okay, I'm Sniper, and this is I Prince. Uh, Prince, you want to say something? <laughs> and I'm gonna be your I Prince of tonight. <laughs> and also, don't forget to mention Sinner, who is walking yeah. behind us. And Sinner is here. Please follow him on his YouTube. He's very amazing in his work. Amazing, and also follow I Prince. He's also very good. And on the other hand, Prince, as I told you, a Bruno and Farsha pick. Mm hmm, mm hmm. He got every single hero that they wanted to pick. But at the same time, I feel like with the draft of F Ryzen here, it is looking more and more better than Gay because, you know, Farsha is able to, to burst down the Valir and the Nana from afar. Mm hmm, mm -hmm. zone out them, you know? Mm hmm. I mean, for now, I could see that they probably need to ban out the, not the Chow. I feel like it's not, it should, it should not be a Chow ban here. Maybe a Chawhead ban. I or another guess. fighter ban, Sylvana. Mm, probably a fighter because uh, Ryzen has already picked their mid laners. Could be a Chow, okay. Mm-hmm. But to be honest, if I'm if I'm Team Gay here, what I call this, I am not going to be banning out the Chow because the Chow, the last time that I've seen it from F3 Ryzen, it was a little bit questionable. <laughs> also, they do have the Valor and the Nana that's able to counter him. So, yeah. you know. And actually, uh, Tamus can really lane Chow very well. Oh. Three mage picks so far. It's not even a mage, it's three supports. <laughs> yeah, actually, high magic damage here, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be a very, very high early game, but I feel like this kind of draft doesn't work with F3 Ryzen because of her die. 
Okay, I guess we should take that back. Might offend some people, you know. <laughs> but as you can see here, they're gonna go here for the Akai. The Akai that's able to target back every hero from the back line. Not from the yeah. back line, but you know. Oh, another real to me. <laughs> oh. oh my god gonna be hashtag legendary again i am not sure i mean for me personally i feel like if i'm from the side of team gaze here i'm gonna go here for Sabina instead of the pharamis just so, so i can apply more pressure it's going to be pharamis and uranus as solo lanos then two support and aldo in the mid lane pretty interesting mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. yeah so seems like the, the match up here is going to be 1-3-1 one, one from both of the teams. You're going to be having F3 Ryzen. That's going to be, what do you call this? Probably putting the Farsa, the Grok, and the... Not the Grok, maybe Farsa, Akai, and a Brimir in the middle lane. While for the side here of Team Gaze, we're going to be having uh, Valier, Nana, and Algis. Probably in the middle lane also. Okay, Prince, here we go. So, what do you think? Who won the draft here? Definitely for the side of uh, F3 Ryzen. I, I feel like they're dear to you. They have a lot of engaged heroes with the Akai and the g -Rock. The Farsa can hit from afar. So basically, they have a lot of range covered. From short range mm -hmm. to long range, they have every single thing in their arsenal. But it seems like the Nana, the, the Valerie, and the Aldus is going to be starting with the red buff. Only Faram is here in the mid lane while the Uranus caught the bot lane. And for me personally, this is a little too questionable because it is open for an invade, especially that the enemy team does have the Grok. Oh, Grok stole the buff fit. Told you so. See, that's one of the reasons why whenever you're going to be playing, playing against a Grok, you should yeah. never start with a red buff at all. Especially uh -huh. if the Grok is going to be coming from the mid lane and you don't have anyone to, 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 to waste your time in the middle lane. Yeah. On the other hand, I really don't like this gameplay of Elder here. On one minute, I guess all he got was five to six stacks. That's yeah, it. Yeah, because he wasn't able to get anything from that red buff anyway because it was stolen by double flame shot. And not only that, he clearly missed it. Oh, he missed another stack dude uh-huh but at the same time you know for the side here of gaze their early game damage is f3 rising so they can rotate and probably look for kills off their own but the stacks mm -hmm. is going for the aldus but because he's he is the lowest farm the gold is not going to him yeah and on the other hand mm -hmm. i really don't like this prince because you know, your main carry is Eldo, and he's not fat, he's, if he's not getting the farm, it's not gonna work out for them. And I agree with that one, but at the same time, Coop is still manageable, but at the end of the day, I feel like the moment that the Farsa hits level 4, which it is right now, there's not gonna be a lot of wave player apart from the Nana. They're just trapping out this Nana and Uranus here in the bottom lane. Mm -hmm, but still, you can see Nana has the ultimate there. Where is Mr. Eldo? He's still farming. Yeah, he's just rotating every single part of the map. Increasing his stacks as much as he can. So, Aljus is going to go here in the top lane, trying to get more stacks. While in the bottom lane, they're probably going to be struggling clearing this. Unless the Nana uses her ultimate to clear this lane. But, oh, maybe a little bit of overextension here. Farsa able to kill out the Uranus in the back there. And I don't see a reason of Mr. Eldo ganking top. Actually, he should be focusing on farm because he can't do anything in the early game. And look at this, actually. And he is farming. It's just the heroes of F3 Ryzen. It's just better equip and ganking. Farsa is able to fly in and out very, very fast. And there you go. The bottom lane is gone. First tier turret going for the side hero F3 Ryzen. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Could be a kill here. No. Joy wants to retreat. There comes Farsha. She's here for the buff. Oh. 
Thanks to the Moilina. Oh, they got the kill with the flame shot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's definitely gonna be able to get the kill there with the magic flame shot. Aldous Look trying to oh, even out the score, God. but unfortunately he doesn't realize that the Girok is there to stop him. So maybe he got a little bit impatient. A different team to what I remember usually. Gaze played before with a little bit more of um patience, patience and discipline. Yeah. But for mm -hmm. now, they are... Impatient. <laughs> Impatient. Mm -hmm. And to be honest, friends, uh, I didn't expect this to be this. Because, like, it's a very good level gameplay. Both the teams are high. And the standard was too good of this match. And still, we are seeing a total domination by Team Ryzen here. It's not really total domination. I mean, it looks like it right now because it's three zeros. But at the same time, it's more about... What do you call this? See, it's because your gaze is fighting back. You're getting back the turret that they lost in the top lane. So when it comes to objectives, they're really not lagging behind that much. Yeah, but on the other hand, look at that huge farm on Jawhead. He already has a fight him with 3k gold. Definitely. I mean, he was never ganked there in the top lane. Al just together with the Valor went there. Mostly they yeah. went there to farm. Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, so this... look, they're just damaging and, you know, poking from afar. Because they know that there's nothing really to stop this. Al just is now here to save the party, but I feel like he's just needed to go farm a little bit more. I'm actually unsure why this Uranus is recalling here in the top yeah. lane. Because there is, there was a vision there that four people was there in the middle lane. So he had time a little bit to push it through it. So I'm kind of surprised why he went back. Mm -hmm. He could have just pushed the top lane. See, now oh, he's still going to mm -hmm. back. He's still going back to top lane. Oh my god, what is this, friends? I don't know. See, what he waste wasted time? so many time there for no yeah. reason. Oh man, what is going on here? Probably the pressure working. <laughs> nah, it's still okay. I'm not really sure how many stacks I'll just have at this point in time. I guess he's on, what you can say, 70 to 100. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he couldn't get a lot of minions, to be honest. Definitely. Look at this. The draft of F3 Ryzen is very predictable. As as we were talking during the ban phase, I already told you that they will be going with the Farsha and Bruno. So to be honest with my squad, I actually yeah. draft like this almost the same. The only thing that I'm going to change is the Bruno. Uh -huh. Because normally okay. we're not going to be banning out... No, the, the Bruno is probably going to be a Claude or a carry pick. Oh. Normally, we're not we're never going to be banning those two heroes. So we either get both of our picks. But the Akai unable to use the Hurricane Dance because there's a lot of Purify available. Yeah, he tried well, but there was the Purify coming up from both the players. And still the score is 4 to null. And I guess they're going to get another turret here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And Mr. Eldo is still farming. This is what happens I mean, if you pick a late game hero and you play early game bad. You will get annihilated the whole game. I mean, to be honest, they didn't play early game that bad. No, oh, actually the boss steal it destroyed their farm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, they're losing that buff there. Made them lose a little bit of obje uh, resources. Mm -hmm. But as you can see, it's not even total domination yet. Because the kill score is only 4-0. I just feel like the main reason why they, they're in this position now was because they were a little too impatient just a while ago. Oh, could be a mistake here. Grok is in trouble, but never mind. Flame yeah. shot saves the day. They oh, only have one flame shot. Flicker ultimate by Akai. But there comes Aldo here! Oh, Aldo's going in! Oh, wow. he got the kill! Oh my god, another wow. kill by Aldo! There Triple kill here! Another one! And another one! <laughs> but no, he's going to die. But never mind, he respawns. Farms with the ultimate. Oh, 
Ouch! Could, could be a maniac. Could be a maniac. I'll just go for it. <laughs> Not gonna be a maniac because he's dead, but the dead oh. timer is gone. Yeah. Good gang. Good gang. One, two, two trade here. I mean, one survive for Ryzen and two for Team Gaze here. I told you, it's not really total domination. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now, the advantage is very, very in favor of Ryzen because they were able to take a lot of resources against Gaze here. But it's not the end of the world yet. They have an okay wave clear with the Nana. But I feel like if the game continues, he goes on here for the side of FA Ryzen like this. If they are able to secure out an inhibitor here with the Lord, it's going to be very, very hard for Gaze to get back. Mm hmm And look at this. They're going to steal the purple buff here. And they're getting it. And now I guess they're going for the Lord. Uh-huh. Mm, definitely. Look at the position of your nurse. Maybe they activated the third eye. <laughs> Sorry. Nah, but you know, this Aldous can just go in here. I feel like they should contest this Lord. I'm kind of surprised you're not. What is going on? Why didn't they contest for it? Nah, they just wanted to play a little bit safe. You know, because they have the Nana that can clear a little bit. No, actually, there's no DPS to kill the Lord. There's only Heavy Burst here. Yeah, I mean, I feel like they're okay giving away... Because the Lord is there in the... Lane, so it's not going to be a problem for them to too much yet. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, Prince, so much. Because, like, you have I mean, a fat Bruno. Yeah, but they do have all their purifies up. I mean, all the advantage is going to be coming here definitely from FD Horizon. They have the better engage here. They have a tie that can take someone. See, the far Look at this. Is oh. kill so many people. Flames are going to be flying, missing, but that is. Oh! An he couldn't do anything. Farsha totally killed him from a distance of a kilometer. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. And magic this flames not over. working. Definitely this game, over, game over, bro. here right now. And that should be it. Game goes here for the side of Oh. Oh look at look at Akai, yeah. look at Akai! Oh my god, they won't do it. They're gonna get it. They're gonna get it. They have oh, immortality. They will. The Lord is uh -huh. full health. It's got GGW for a side here of Eisen. Uh huh, uh huh. Oh my god. Good game, good game, both the teams. That Farsha's gameplay was unbelievable. Look at the damage, Prince. 40% was dealt by Farsha herself. Uh mm huh. -hmm.